I would like to show you how to calculate the required head in a wastewater system in a commercial building. In the EN standard 12056-2, we will find the formula to be used for that. The formula shows that the total head is the sum of the geodetic height in the system, the friction loss in the valves and fittings in the system, and the linear uh, friction loss in the pipes. The geodetic height is uh, independent of the flow rate in the system. It's a constant, uh, whereas the, the friction loss in the fittings and, uh, uh, and valves and in the linear pipe is a dynamic value. It depends on the, on the flow uh, in the system. So we have a static value and we have a dynamic value here. Now we'll take a look at how to find the geodetic head in the system. Now we'll uh, find out uh, what is the static head or the geodetic head in uh, this system. The static head is the difference between the intermediate value between the start and the stop level and to the highest point in the discharge system. If there's a backflow level, like here, the back uh, water loop, that will be the highest point in the, in the system. So the intermediate value between start and stop and to the highest point is here. So for this system, this will be the, the geodetic height. And if we want to uh, show that on the, on the curve chart, we put the value of the geodetic height here, and that will be the height which the pump will have to, uh, to lift the water independent of the flow rate. And now we'll look into the dynamic uh, flow rate in the linear pipe. And that will give us, together with the, uh, the friction loss of the head required in the, the valves and fittings, will give the slope of the system curve. That's the, the dynamic uh, friction loss in the system. Now we have uh, the formula for the pressure loss in the linear pipe system here. It's uh, the multiplication of the, the pressure loss uh, dependent on the flow rate. That's a value we can find in a, in a chart multiplied by the length of the pipe. And it's important that we only choose the length of the upward going pipe because the downward going pipe will be, uh, the flow of the wastewater will be moved by means of the, the gravitation uh, in the system. For the calculation of the friction loss in the linear pipe, we uh, need to use uh, a diagram, which is shown here. This is an example of uh, a system where we have a flow rate of uh, 3.76 liter per second. We have a pipe size of GN70, and we have a wa water velocity of 0 0.96 meter per second. And in the diagram, we can read the value of the pressure loss, uh, depending on the flow rate, to be 0 0.02. So, with a pipe length of uh, 75 meters, we can calculate the, the friction loss to be 0 0.02 times 70 meters, which is 1.5 meters. So the friction loss in the linear pipe system for this, uh, for this system uh, of the 75 meters will be 
meters. The diagram we showed here was uh, uh, representing a, a roughness in the pipes of uh, 0 0.25. Um, and of course, you need to use the, the right diagram depending on the pipe uh, material used. The last factor we need to uh, calculate to uh, find the total head in the system is the friction loss in the valves and fittings. This is the formula for, uh, for calculating that value. We must uh, count the valves and fittings in the system. And for each of these uh, valves and fittings, there's a zeta value. And in the table shown here, you can find the, uh, the individual uh, zeta values for the bends and for uh, the different valve types. And we multiply the value with uh, the velocity in square divided by two times the gravitational constant. Now we'll make an example of the calculation of the friction loss in the valves and fittings. And for this example, the, the sum of the uh, zeta values will be 6.7. And we multiply that with the velocity we had before, 0 0.9. 3 divided by 2 times 9.82. That gives us a friction loss of 0 0.33 meters. So now we can uh, calculate the total uh, head required in the system by uh, adding the three uh, heads together. And we have the static head, the geodetic head of, uh, I have set that to uh, five meters. We calculated the friction loss in the linear uh, pipe system to be 1.5 meters, and the head loss in uh, uh, valves and fittings to be 0.33 and that gives us a total head of 6.883 uh, meters. And it means that we need to find a pump that is able to provide a head of maximum this value or above. So now I have showed you how to calculate the total head required in, uh, in a system. And I hope that you have an understanding of what uh, factors influence the, the total head, that you need to think about uh, what is the static head, what different uh, uh, valves and fittings are in the system, and what size of pipe is there. So uh, if you have any questions, please call me.